told me more than once to show you my intention. Hey you, welcome to my laundry motivation for you today. Um, as you can see, I have tons of laundry going on in this laundry room. So as I mentioned in my previous video, here in Texas we did have rolling power outages. At least, um, I was blessed to have that where the power would go off. For about 45 minutes and then it would come back on for an hour but the water would not be on whenever the power was off so we could not wash or do dishes or anything like that so this is you know one of those moments when I was like oh I'll just do laundry on Monday and then Monday comes and that didn't happen so it just kept getting piled up so I was like okay well this would be perfect to do a laundry routine for my YouTube friends so here we go um, I am first going through and separating by textures I am doing my husband and mine clothes first and putting those into the washing machine by textures I opened the dryer and I noticed that I had a load of towels so I'm gonna go ahead and get those folded and I did put some downy beads in the washing machine first that is always a must for me those beads they last in your clothes forever um, as far as the laundry detergent and the softener that I'm using I am using the Tide Odor Defense washing detergent um, and the uh, fabric softener I'm using the Snuggle not sure what scent I just remember seeing the little bear on there and it you know brought me back to my childhood so I repurchased it again so that is what's going on in my washing machine and now I'm trying to make a dent into my laundry and get it still separated by textures and when I mean textures I've said it before but if you are new here I mean soft versus hard there was a house shoe and stuff so I just throw it out of there but soft usually means like undergarments and t-shirts and hards are like sweatshirts, jeans, things that are a little bit thicker. So that, that way the soft garments do not get lost with the hard clothing. So that's why I do it by texture, not by color. And I have not had an issue since. Now moving over to the sink. My daughter's shoes had mud on them, so I put Gooby Gone on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it into the washing machine. These, I have hand washed the girls' mask and I soak them and then I also put the laundry sanitizer in there as well and then I hang dry them this right here I made about a year ago and I made them for lost socks you, you would just hang it I think it said single seeking mate on there but you know I'm so over the lock the lost socks that I pretty much just throw them away now but right now I'm filling up my sink and I'm adding the bleach in there. This is the splash free bleach and one thing I will tell you, the splash free bleach is not a disinfectant. I just learned that from my friend Sarah on here. So if you ever purchase the splash free, just know it is not a disinfectant. But anywho, um, I wanted to go ahead and pre, kind of pre-treat the whites. They were a little dingy. You can see this one. I think I'm gonna give you, yeah, I'm gonna give you a close-up of it. It's pretty dingy looking. So I wanted to see if I poured, it says to pour a half a cup of bleach into hot water and let it soak. So I'm gonna do that before I wash them and see if it even makes a difference. looking at that house shoe it is driving me crazy but okay so I needed to get this under sink cabinet taken care of while I was in here doing laundry and I had these leftovers I purchased these from the container store because I was going to use them in my freezer but because I have a side-by-side -side freezer it did not work very well so they've just been sitting in my pantry waiting for me to use them so down here we pretty much just have dog food and my husband's uh, tools pretty much that was all that was down here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this organized and utilize these containers so that I will not be wasting them 
um, on the side there you can see my little mudroom area I am listening to YouTube not sure who that is I'm trying to see who it is now but if if that's you let me know it's you in the comments but I am listening to you whoever you are but <laughs> I always try when I'm cleaning, doing laundry or something like that, I'm in the laundry room or the kitchen, I always try to catch up on my uh, YouTubers that I just love and support. So we had a can of dog food down here and I don't know what happened with that can but it left that ring and I put the gooby gone on it and it still would not come up I don't know and then even the cardboard that was down there kind of got stuck so I went to the kitchen to get my cheese knife to kind of scrape it up and the cardboard and everything came up but that ring barely came up so I'm gonna have to sand it paint it something but I went to go look to see if there was something that I could put on the bottom of there because that was gonna drive me crazy and I remember I had contact paper from when I did my kitchen unfortunately this contact paper is clear so you know what I just left the paper on it <laughs> to give it kind of like a white look and I put that down and laid it down on the bottom and it worked out just fine for now sometimes you just have to improvise just to make it work. I kind of simple, kind of wishful about things. And you're kind of simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't want to come back because you'd rather. So tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guides bragging in the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way you how you These nails and screw compartment thingies are pretty neat. We actually got them at Ikea. So if you're ever in Ikea and you need nails or screws, they have all different sizes. And, and you can just keep them in the container and keep them separated. But yeah, I'm pretty much just going to put all the tools and all the doggy, like the doggy treats, the doggy shampoo, the doggy toothbrush, all of that in one container, and then all his nails and whatnot into the other, and then we will be done down here. Then I can move on to laundry. So I took all the lint out and put it into my little lint holder trash can and now I am vacuuming up the lint tray in the inside. This vacuuming trick is amazing and it actually gets all of the lint out of the, va out of the um, dryer. So I'm so glad that Crystal gave me that tip to go ahead and vacuum and now I am giving that tip to you. So now I am putting the clothes over to the dryer. I love this dryer because if you notice, uh, when you open it you can open it in two different ways whenever I'm putting clothes in I like to open it this way because I'm always dropping clothes on the floor but when you open it this way the lid prevents the clothes from pretty much falling onto the ground and then when I need to take the clothes out the dryer I open it the sideways part and then I can pull all of the clothes out and it makes it so much easier but now I am moving over to the soaking whites that I have over here and I'm gonna drain them out and then go put them in the washing machine under super hot.
really want to know So now it's time to fold and it's actually pretty relaxing especially the way that I do it because I pretty much just roll up everything and not only does it save time but it saves space in your drawers and cabinets and things of that nature so I'm going to go ahead and get this all folded and taken care of but while I'm doing that I want to tell you a little funny story that happened to me the day before uh, this video my lovely mom neighbor group called me it's like three of us and we all love each other we love each other's kids all of our kids hang out together and they were just like hey let's go outside for a walk i'm getting stir crazy i'm tired of being in the house i'm like oh my gosh i just got my heat on and you want to go walk in the cold but okay you know i sucked it up i put on tons of layers got my cup of coffee and we went for a walk it was sunny outside yet it was still 30 some degrees but it was still kind of nice to go ahead and get out of the house but make a long story short i did fall and um i guess my bones aren't as young as they used to because honey when I woke up the next day my body was in pain and that is actually this day that I am filming this video you cannot tell because it is sped up but I am like fighting through the pain my back hurt my legs hurt I don't know if it's because I was walking on snow working muscles I don't usually work but y'all I was in pain so you will notice like when I'm getting up and down on the floor I kind of look like a little elderly, like 90-year-old woman, but yeah, I was in pain, y'all, but I did it for you. Now I'm moving on to separating my daughter's clothes. Both of them, they share the same dirty clothes hamper. And I found all kinds of interesting things at the bottom of it. Lotion, wash can, shower cap, brush, oh, some body spray, and a hair tie. All right, I wonder if they were looking for that. I'm putting it right in there so they can put it all up. All right, let's go forward. Guess I have to tell you again because you haven't got. So yes, you do see my glass of wine over there. By this time, it is now nighttime. So I have my glass of wine. I was going to take a bath and I was like, oh my gosh, you're doing a laundry routine video. You cannot bathe yet. So I literally was just drinking my wine waiting for the washer and dryer to stop. But I did go ahead and fold super quickly for you guys because I did not want to bore you. As I mentioned before, I do roll up my clothes. Um, and when I'm rolling up my shirts, I do roll it to the point where I can still see the print on the outside so I'll know what shirt is which shirt. Whenever I am folding my pajamas, if they have a top and pants set, I do roll the pants inside of the shirt so that they're all stuck together. It don't really matter what you do, guess I have to tell you again, cause you haven't got So all my fellow Texans, are y'all doing okay? Um, are your power back on, your water back on? I'm finding out so much, see look at me struggling. Oh my gosh y'all, sorry about that. <laughs> but um, I'm finding out that so many people did not even have power, so for, um, or even water. So I'm just, I'm checking you guys out, seeing if you guys are doing okay. And if you need anything, let me know. Honey, I will get some water shipped to you. We have tons of bottled water. So just let me know and one thing I will say from this experience is I am not taking power for granted power nor water it's amazing what we're so used to on a day-to-day -day basis but as of now I do not take it for granted I even am conserving power now so 
that's what's going on but now I'm going to our bathroom to get some hangers so that I can hang up my pants yeah, 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 and I never want to be your I am checking out the whites to see if it made a difference and it actually did y'all it made them sparkle well not sparkle but shine <laughs> I could definitely tell the difference so guys if you need to refresh your whites I would totally recommend that you soak them in bleach before you wash them just do a little pre-treatment wash them in the hot water the white setting whatever you might have on your washing machine put bleach in that as well and then they will come out squeaky white which I love So I never really wait till all of my beads are out <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more in here this is the April Fresh by Downy scent that I'm going to pour in here and I always end up mixing my beads sometimes it's pretty neat to have a mixture of beads in here but it's just so pretty when you pour them in there and I had like a lot of extra at the top so I'm gonna do what I normally do in my guest bathroom so this is the powder room downstairs that no one hardly uses so I put the beads into the back of the toilet y'all this will make your bathroom smell for days now make sure you do it in a bathroom that you do not use all the time um, a guest bathroom something like that or even if you're about to have company come over and you have that one bathroom that they, your company can use you can put it in there that time but I would totally not recommend that you would put this in a bathroom that you will be using 10 minutes later because you don't want to hurry up and flush it down but it does last for a very long time. So just another little refresher tip for you that you can utilize in your bathroom. And now I'm off to fold again. I was so over sitting on that floor getting up and down even though uh, it is a lot easier for me to fold on the floor. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish on the bed. And I was smelling the clothes. I love smelling fresh clothes right out the dryer. But I am folding clothes, and right now I am watching Sinner. Have you guys watched that show? Um, I am on the very first season, so it is pretty interesting. I'm trying to figure out why she did what she did. I don't know how I totally missed me filming doing this but I took the clothes out the washer you can see them right there in the white basket because the dryer was done but the um, I mean the washing machine was done but the dryer wasn't quite done yet so I went ahead and took the clothes out the washing machine anyway and put them in the basket and then so that I could go ahead and start another load because 
I was getting tired. And now I'm refreshing the dryer ball with the lemon um, oil that I put in there. The girls love the smell of lemon, so I wanted to put that with their clothes. And now we are folded again. It is time to get the night flow going on and get the pillows put up. It is about 10 o'clock at night at this time. So guys, this would be the last load that you see me fold. Besides the next load, I believe are my girls loads and I do not fold their clothes. So this is my last load that you guys get to see me fold up or shall I say roll up. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this laundry motivation video. If you are, please put a thumbs up. That lets me know to keep doing this. And if you like it, I will go ahead and put this as a, if not weekly, but every other week type of video content just for you guys. Look at my sock drawer y'all, it is overflowing and that's literally nothing but fluffy socks and I actually have socks in a basket in my closet as well because that's just how many fluffy socks I have. I am addicted to them and I love them so if you ever want to send me some fluffy socks let me know, I'll give you my address. But now we are in the laundry room, I am wrapping it up, I am putting the girls clothes into their own basket, each of them have their own separate basket. I will put them in here and they will come and get them. They will fold them and hang them and put them away and then bring the basket down and then I will give them their next load. So I am pretty much done with folding and everything today. Um, I do have towels and sheets left but I end up just doing that the next day. Those are my girls. They are waiting for their laundry baskets. They know the drill and I just want to thank you guys for being here. I hope you really enjoy this type of content. If you do, please push subscribe and I will keep these going for you. I'm so glad that you guys have come back and are hanging out with me and I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to comment if you are new so that I can get to know you and you guys know I love to chit chat. To all my loyals, I see you. I promise you I see you and I appreciate every single one of you. So I will be seeing you guys on Friday. So next, until next time, bye bye.